everyone, it's Kenzie and welcome back to my channel or if you're new, welcome. If you guys don't know what I do on my channel, I post random videos every single Friday or whenever I do a devotion. It used to be random, but I'm like, you know what? Let's not do a random anymore. Let's actually be consistent on this. Let's be like Logan Paul, okay? Let's be like Lily Singh who posts videos every single day. Let's do that. And so I found this new uh, devotion I thought would be perfect because, you know, school's in session, you know, and a lot of people are in high school and they're trying, or in middle school now, and they're trying to find a boyfriend slash girlfriend to be in a relationship with. Guys, I've been through high school already. I've already been through two years of college. I have been in multiple relationships. I'm putting that in quotes because a lot of them have been long distance. I've only been in two relationships that were real relationships, as in the people were living near me and I actually went on real dates with them. But nothing has worked out for me, <laughs> I will tell you that. And so I decided let's spice it up and not let this relationship be about having a boyfriend or a girlfriend. Let's do about relationships with friends that you make in school, the good ones, you know, like Harry Potter did when he was going to be friends with Draco Malfoy. Oh wait, that didn't because you became friends with Ron Weasley and Hermione Granger. And of course, our relationship with God because that is the most important relationship in the world you guys should have. And I'm working on having a very better relationship with God as well. And I know a lot of you guys don't serve my God or the one and only God that I serve all the time, but maybe this video will make you realize, oh, there's only one God and not multiple gods, like God for the sun, God for love, God for this, God for that. So it's a seven day journey, so this will be a full week. And so, yes guys, I got a new journal. <laughs> I got this for college and I never used it for a long time. And so I'm gonna look up relationship day one and we'll go from there. Hey guys, I did not come up with this relationship devotion by myself. I've actually got help from you now. No, not you now. You version of Bible, I think it's called. Yes, the Bible app, the you now version, the you version, whatever it is. I don't. The you version, it is you version. I get mixed up with you now. It's the you version app on on an Apple phone. If you have an Android, it could be different or you can look it up on your Kindle. I don't know. I got it because I have an iPhone. I'm an Apple person. Sue me, people! I know. Not a whole lot of people like Apple. Anyways, this devotion I got from the that Bible app and it was very inspirational. Of course, I'm going to do more from that. So if you guys want to follow along, please have your own Bible app. Subscribe to that plan and do it for a whole seven days. So let's get into it. Building healthy relationships day one. Love is the better way. I have decided to stick with love. Hate is too great a burden to bear. Dr. Martha Luther King Jr. That is actually true, people. Hate is a very big burden to bear. And I hate holding a grudge on someone for such a long time. And so I actually have this person at my old college I went to. And she still holds a grudge to me this very day. I message her probably a couple, a few weeks ago, and she totally bit my hand off for something that I don't remember doing. I apologize, but we're still not on good terms. She still holds a grudge against me, and I'm sorry if you're watching this girl, but hi. <laughs> Dr. King is uniquely qualified to teach us about the volatility of revenge and the ultimate triumph of love. True. But besides being in prison, having a firebomb thrown <laughs> into his own house, and being assassinated, he had various teachers, teachers and mentors in the area of nonviolent protest. But the greatest of them was Christ himself, who triumphed over evil by first bearing its wrath. Revenge seems sweet and right. True. It's the plot line of a thousand movies and TV shows. Seriously guys, I watch so many movies and TV shows and there's a lot of revenge on them. Even in crime shows. Who knew? But revenge only provokes the next act of vengeance on the other side. I mean, I don't blame the assassin in the assassination movie. I mean, <sighs> do not take revenge, my friends, but leave room for God's wrath. 
for it is written, It's mine to avenge, I will repay, says the Lord. On the contrary, if your enemy is hungry, feed him. Choosing to love your enemies is not easy. And it doesn't always wield visible results right away. But it is the main reason that people of color were really treated with dignity in our land. It is also the gift given to human race by the Savior who forgave his enemies from the cross. Who needs your mercy today? It is true, colored people do have it hard back then and even today. I mean, there was a movie about it um, called Detroit, about the dark days in Detroit for almost a week of raids against the black people. And to this very day, black people still have it hard because there are a bunch of skinheads out there who still think that Hitler is God. But he wasn't. And it is it is hard, even on me. It's hard when I get mad at someone and I don't take it out on revenge, which is a good thing. And I know a lot of people out there, even in high school, it's hard because there are bullies there. Also than that, I want to recommend a movie to you guys. It is called I Am Not Ashamed. It is about Rachel... Um, Green, I don't, I think her name is Rachel Green, Rachel Gray, I can't remember her last name, um, killing in the Conroy, I can't spell the school, on April 4th, 1998, I was only two years old when this happened, and her story is based on that movie, and it's a good movie, if you guys have not seen it, I think it's on Amazon, or you can find, find it on Redbox if you have a Redbox account or if not just find it where it is near you. It's a really good movie. It's very inspirational as well when you see Rachel's story through this girl and it's just amazing to see how she was bullied for a while from some people and she didn't take any of that crap and there's some other people who were bullied and that's why they were shooting. As you see guys through a lot of shooting at schools that these kids they were bullied and no one sees that no one does a thing about it and so it's easy when you get upset about a bully don't get upset with them show them kindness kill them with kindness and so that's all i have to say guys and it's just i know it's hard not to be hateful on those bullies as well. Seriously guys, I have been bullied since like the fifth grade and I'm still bullied to this very day about like my height, my weight, because I'm, seriously, I'm 21 years old, I'm 4'11 and 3 quarters and I weigh 81 pounds and it's very sad and I know you guys are saying like, oh eat a bunch of meat. I do eat a bunch of meat guys, but I also eat a bunch of junk food in the process of that. And I still don't gain weight, but I am working on getting exercise to get me some meat on my bones. But it's very, it was very hard for me to go through high school at a private school where there were a bunch of kids there who did bully me because I have ADD and of course I'm very small, I'm an easy target and even at BCF I was still a little bit like an easy target. There were still one or two people that made fun of me, and then there were other people who there were very generous, very thoughtful, and loved me just the way I was and did not care that I was small, that I was skinny, because there were a lot of people at that school that was like me, that was small, didn't look their age, tried to act like their age, and seriously guys, I try to act my age, but I don't look it or act <laughs> Let's be real there. And so it was very cool not to get upset and whenever I did, I just talked to people or I went for a walk just to clear my head and besides doing that, you should also get into God's Word. That was an easier thing and I should have done that in college. Probably that's why I should be there still, but it was not the right school for me. I still love BCF guys. It's still an amazing college. It just wasn't right for me. Maybe I'll find a different college that is right for me, but I'm just taking a break. For now. <laughs> Anyways guys, to end this off, I'm going to read a verse for this and then let's see what happens. Romans 12, 9-20. 
Beloved, never avenge yourself, but leave it to the wrath of God. For it is written, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, says the Lord. To the contrary, if your enemy is hungry, feed him. If he is thirsty, give him something to drink. For by doing so, you will bring bearing coals on his head. And that's a really good way to think it. You know, don't, if someone is upset with you or very mean to you, don't act in anger. Like I say, kill him with kindness. Like it says, if the enemy that you, the person you do not like is hungry, say, hey, here's some food. Or if they're thirsty, be like, hey, I got this drink still left over. Here you go. Just be nice to them because doing that, you're showing that you don't have to be mean to be nice to people. You can be nice to be nice to people. And so when they see that you're nice to them and you're giving them the stuff and being kind to them, seriously guys, you don't really have to feed them or anything, but just be nice to them in general, then they would be like, oh my gosh. And then when they ask you questions about your faith or about why you're never mean to them at all, they will probably get down on their knees and on their bedroom or somewhere on the road. Not literally on the road, like in the middle, they can get hit, but you know, somewhere where they feel safe and actually pray to God and be like, oh my gosh, God, I am so sorry that I was mean to this person. I want to live for you. I want to be your light. So that way people who see me as a mean person can see that I cannot just be a mean person. I can be a nice person. I can find your light. And then so on and so on. So yeah, guys, hopefully you find that very helpful for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this so much. I enjoyed this so much. It was a very nice devotion to get into. I woke up in the morning, drank my coffee, and did this. Very helpful, guys. And you guys should wake up in the morning, drink your coffee if you drink coffee, or drink milk, whatever you want to drink in the morning, whatever is preference to you. And just get in God's Word. Find a devotion that will help you either read Proverbs or anything you want to do. It adds up to you. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below how this helped you or if you're having any problems at all about a bully or how this affected you. Comment that down below. All my social media will be linked in the description below. You know, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, you know, all of that. And if you guys are new to my channel and you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button either down below, turn the post notifications on, or right there. And if you want to check out my last video, it'll be right there. I'll see you all guys tomorrow for a brand new video. Bye.